Hello folks. Welcome back to our channel. Today, get ready to embark on an epic journey through the world of legends and mysteries. We will explore the stories surrounding three legendary cities, El Dorado, Atlantis, and Camelot. Through historical evidence, myths, and accounts, we will dive into the quest for these mythical cities that have captured the imagination of cultures throughout the centuries. Get ready to marvel at the intrigues, the gold, and the knights of the round table. Let's delve into the depths of the lush jungles of South America, where rests one of the most captivating legends in human history, El Dorado, the city of gold. This fascinating narrative has spanned centuries, inspiring explorers, conquerors, and historians to unravel its mysteries and challenge the unknown in search of this mysterious city rich in treasures. The legend of El Dorado is a tale of ambition, wealth, and adventure. In its most iconic form, El Dorado was depicted as a golden city, where streets were paved with gold and riches were unimaginable. The relentless pursuit of this lost city drew European explorers into the uncharted jungles of South America, facing deadly challenges, tropical diseases, and fragile alliances with indigenous peoples. The promise of extraordinary wealth turned El Dorado into a symbol of greed and obsession, shaping the course of exploration in the Americas. The historical sources documenting the quest for El Dorado are varied and often contradictory. The earliest stories date back to the early 16th century. Accounts from conquistadors such as Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada and Francisco de Orellana provided descriptions of their expeditions and the rumors they encountered during their journeys. These accounts mentioned golden cities and coronation rituals where indigenous leaders were supposedly covered in gold. A coronation ceremony held by the indigenous Muisca people in Colombia gained prominence. In this ceremony, the new leader was covered in gold dust and sailed on a lake while offering precious offerings to the waters. This iconic image of a golden leader gave rise to the legend of El Dorado. Narratives about the city of gold varied in details and location, fueling the fervor of expeditions and keeping alive the hope of discovering wealth beyond imagination. However, over the years, reality began to distance itself from fantasy. As expeditions failed to find the golden city, the legend of El Dorado came to be viewed with increasing skepticism. While explorers did discover cultural treasures and evidence of advanced civilizations, they failed to find the fabulous city of gold. Today, El Dorado is more than just a legend. It is a powerful symbol of the interaction between cultures, the relentless pursuit of riches, and the complexity of human history. The exploration of places like Machu Picchu, the Mayan temples, and the Inca city of Cusco revealed the cultural and architectural wealth of ancient South American civilizations, perhaps representing the true treasures that indigenous peoples have bequeathed to humanity. The legend of El Dorado remains a reminder that the pursuit of material wealth can obscure the deeper riches of culture, history, and knowledge. While the city of gold may remain elusive, the true wealth of El Dorado lies in the legend's ability to inspire exploration, curiosity, and a connection to the past. Our next destination is the enigmatic Atlantis, the lost city in the depths of the ocean, a legendary city mentioned by Plato in his dialogues. According to Plato's accounts, Atlantis was an advanced and powerful civilization that suddenly disappeared beneath the waters. Let's dive into theories about its location, the possible causes of its disappearance, and how this mysterious city influenced popular culture. The story of the legendary city of Atlantis is one of the most captivating and enduring enigmas of Western mythology. The first written reference to Atlantis is found in the works of the Greek philosopher Plato, specifically in the dialogues, Timaeus, and Critias, dating back to around 360 BC. According to Plato's accounts, Atlantis was an advanced and prosperous civilization that existed thousands of years before his own time, approximately 9,000 years before his era. The exact location of Atlantis has been a point of controversy and speculation over the centuries. According to Plato's descriptions, Atlantis was situated beyond the Pillars of Hercules, often interpreted as the Strait of Gibraltar, which separates the Iberian Peninsula from Africa. Many researchers and enthusiasts believe that Atlantis could have existed in a region now submerged in the Atlantic Ocean, due to Plato's references to the catastrophic sinking of the city. Various theories about the location of Atlantis have emerged over the years, from the Mediterranean to the Caribbean and even Antarctica. 
The relentless search for evidence has led to archaeological expeditions and deep dives into the ocean's depths. While the city itself has not been found, the mere possibility of its existence has spurred new underwater discoveries and research into ancient coastal civilizations. There are several theories about the causes of Atlantis' disappearance. The most famous involves divine punishment. According to the legend, the Atlanteans became arrogant and corrupt, displeasing the gods. As punishment, Zeus is said to have destroyed the city with earthquakes and floods, sinking it into the depths of the ocean. Other theories suggest natural catastrophes, such as volcanic eruptions or tsunamis, as possible causes for Atlantis' submersion. The influence of Atlantis on popular culture is undeniable. From the time of Plato to the present day, the story of Atlantis has inspired countless literary works, films, TV series, and video games. Authors like Jules Verne, H.P. Lovecraft, and J.R.R. Tolkien incorporated elements of the Atlantis legend into their works. Additionally, films like Disney's Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and DC Comics, Aquaman, have explored the narrative of the submerged city. However, it is important to highlight that the story of Atlantis remains largely a myth and a legend. Despite many explorers and archaeologists searching for evidence of its existence, no conclusive physical trace of the city has been found to this day. Atlantis continues to be an enigma that captures people's imagination and fuels the desire to uncover the secrets lost in the ocean's depths. Last but not least, let's transport ourselves to medieval times and enter the magical Camelot, the city associated with the legendary realm of King Arthur and the noble knights of the Round Table. The legend of Camelot is intricately linked to the Arthurian tales, a series of stories revolving around the legendary King Arthur, his knights, and the quest for the Holy Grail. These tales were transmitted orally and in writing over centuries, evolving and incorporating elements from different cultures and historical periods. The Arthurian stories were popularized in medieval European courts and later recorded in works like Sir Thomas Mallory's Le Mort d'Arthur. The evolution of the Camelot myth over time reflects changes in society and cultural attitudes. Initially, Camelot was portrayed as an idyllic and utopian court, where justice, chivalry, and noble values were celebrated. However, over the centuries, the legend underwent revisions and reinterpretations, reflecting the interests and values of different eras. The quest for the Holy Grail, for instance, can be seen as a metaphor for humanity's spiritual and ethical quests. However, it's important to emphasize that Camelot does not have a specific location in real geography. There are theories that suggest it could have been inspired by historical locations, but the city itself is a literary and mythological creation. Its undefined nature allowed different authors and artists to reinterpret and reimagine the city over the centuries. The connection between the Camelot legend and historical events is complex. Many argue that King Arthur may have been based on real historical figures who lived during the post-Roman period in Britain, a time of transition and instability. However, historical evidence is scarce, and the line between reality and myth remains blurred. The figure of the wizard Merlin is also an essential part of the Camelot legend. Merlin is portrayed as a wise and powerful advisor who aids King Arthur in his endeavors. His magical feats and ability to foresee the future add a touch of mystery and enchantment to the narrative. The story of Camelot is enriched by other memorable characters, such as Queen Guinevere, the Knight Lancelot, Morgana Le Fay, and Mordred, who bring conflicts, passions, and betrayals to the plot. Camelot also holds a notable presence in popular culture, being referenced in numerous books, films, TV series, and other media. The influence of the legend is evident in contemporary adaptations, such as the BBC series, Merlin, and films about King Arthur directed by different filmmakers. In summary, the legend of Camelot is a testament to the enduring power of mythical stories in human culture. Its evolution over time and its influence on different aspects of modern culture demonstrate how myths and tales can transcend temporal and cultural boundaries, continuing to resonate in people's minds and hearts to this day. Incredible, isn't it? These legendary cities make us dream of lost worlds, hidden treasures, and epic adventures. And thus, we conclude our journey through the legends of Atlantis, El Dorado, and Camelot. Each of these cities has its own charm and mystery, transporting us to worlds of imagination and wonder. 
If you've also been fascinated by these stories, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Keep following our channel to explore more fascinating stories and incredible curiosities. Now, if you want to find out if dinosaurs are still alive today, check out the video appearing on your screen right now. See you next time.